I wanted to ask you about something, and it ties into the record is why I'm bringing this up, is uh, we were talking about BSB, we were talking about LFO, we were talking about NSYNC, and then you had a really unique perspective on the rise of BTS, because you're around those guys at a really early point in their career, but as, a, as an MC, as a TV host, right? So what was this capacity that you saw them? Um, so, you know, I hosted a, a TV show in Korea, it was all in English, it was just connecting K-pop people to their fans internationally so we would oh, do like cool. video chats and live tweets and all these kind of interactive forms what was it called uh after school club yeah a little on the nose i lo <laughs> love that show guys <laughs> shout out <laughs> um, um so yeah we you know we would have people rookies to very you know veterans and when bts came on they had maybe a few albums out mm. and they hadn't really made it in Korea yet, or anywhere. And they were really starting to, I remember they were like, saying like, oh man, this is really hard. Like everybody in Korea, there's so much competition to be able to to survive and like stay around as a group is really, really difficult. And so um, for them, they would be like, some of this stuff is really hard, we're exhausted. And um, they really went about it the right way of going internationally, coming to the States, putting time in, working with really interesting people and um, approaching things from a very non-K-pop business or perspective. Mm. And I think that's what really allowed people internationally to see you know, how talented they were, the music that they do, the stories that they tell, and really had people latch on. And once that started to rise internationally, I think in Korea, they're like, oh, well, who are these guys? Let's pay attention and like, kind of figure it out. And then they started taking over the world. And they're massive, as you all know. <laughs> so, um, but it's been really cool to see them, you know, develop as a team and take over the world. And um, what's great is whenever I do see them, whenever we hang out, they're just still so humble and hardworking and um, encouraging. I think we're very encouraging to each other about our music. And I tend to hear a lot of their stuff before it comes out. I play a lot of their, my stuff for them. And, like, we have feedback that goes back and forth. So um, it's like a, it's a cool thing to be able to cheer them on. 